Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll get warmed up with a simple mapping table. Let's take a quick tour of the worksheets. The E1 data sheet contains the data. The data is stored in a table named TBL underscore E1 underscore data. This data needs to flow into the map. The map is stored on the E1 map worksheet. The table is named TBL underscore E1 underscore map. The map data needs to flow into the report. The report is stored on the Exercise 1 worksheet. Step 1 is to pull the data into the map. On the map sheet, we'll use a SUMIFS function. Equals SUMIFS, add up the TBLE1 data amount column, only include those rows where the TBLE1 data rep ID column is equal to our rep ID. Close the function and hit enter. Now that the data has been pulled into the map, let's build the report. Here, we'll use the SUMIFS function to retrieve values from the map. Equal SUMIFS, add up the TBLE1 map amount column, only include those rows where the TBLE1 map rep name column is equal to our rep name. Fill the formula down, and we got it. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll use conditional summing to map many data items to one report item. This setup is similar to the previous exercise. We have a data table on the E2 data sheet. The table is named TBL E2 data. This data should flow into the map. The E2 map sheet has the mapping table. It's named TBL E2 map. The report on the exercise 2 worksheet should pull the values from the map. Step 1 is to pull the values from the data table into the map. Equal sum ifs, add up the TBL E2 data amount column, only include those rows where the TBL E2 data account name column is equal to our account name. So far, so good. Now, let's build the report. Equal sum ifs, add up the TBLE2 map amount column, only include those rows where the TBLE2 map FS line column is equal to ours. We simply copy and paste the formula down throughout the report. Copy, paste, paste, and paste. Perfect. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll use a single data table and a map to feed multiple reports, even though they use different labels. The data is stored on the E3 data sheet. The table is named TBL E3 data. This data will be pulled into the map. This mapping table includes two report label columns. The B sheet column is for the balance sheet and the PL column is for the PL. We pull the data into the map. Equal sum ifs, add up the TBL E3 data amount column, only include those rows where the TBL E3 data account name column is equal to our account name. Now, let's jump over to the report. We'll start by building the formula for the assets. Equal sum ifs, Add up the TBL E3 map amount column. Only include those rows where the TBL E3 map B sheet column is equal to our label. Fill this formula down. Now, let's copy this formula and paste it into the first liability row. As we can see, the underlying data represents credits with negative numbers. So, we just need to flip the sign here precede the SUMIFS function with a dash, and that should work just fine. Copy this formula and fill it down through the remaining rows to complete the report. Now, let's work on the PNL. Equal SUMIFS, add up the TBLE3 map amount column, only include those rows where the TBLE3 map PL column is equal to our label. 
precede the sumifs function with a dash. Equal sumifs, add up the TBL E3 map amount column, only include those rows where the TBL E3 map PL column is equal to our label. Now, just copy and paste the formula down to complete the report. Extra credit one. In this exercise, we'll write a consistent formula that can be used throughout the report. The key here is the nature column. This value will tell our formula if the sign needs to be flipped. There are several approaches to writing the formula. One way is to pull the value with the sumifs function and then use an if function to determine if the sign needs to be flipped. If the nature is dr, then we multiply the result by one. Otherwise, we multiply it by minus one to flip the sign. Let's build the formula in two steps. First, let's just get the sumifs working correctly. Equals sumifs, add up the TBL E3 map amount column, only include those rows where the TBL E3 map B sheet column is equal to our label. Close the function and hit enter. Okay, that's looking good. Now, let's flip the sign if needed. Edit the formula. If the sign needs to be flipped, we'll multiply the result by minus one. If the sign does not need to be flipped, we'll multiply the result by one. So sum ifs, okay, times if the nature is equal to dr, then one, otherwise minus one. We copy and paste the formula down, copy, paste, paste, and paste. Excellent. The PNL is done the same way. Equals sum ifs, add up the TBLE3 map amount column, only include those rows where the TBLE3 map PL column is equal to our label. Multiply the result by if the nature is equal to dr1, otherwise minus one. Copy, paste, and paste. Nailed it. This video is a production of Click Consulting.